Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. Welcome to my video today. I am going to be sharing you, with you guys what I'm doing for the kids' Valentine's Day treats. And I know that I said last month when I was doing Kayla's treats that I was pretty treated out for treat bags and putting things together and I'll be really honest you guys I'm struggling this month trying to figure out what to do for the kids uh, school for Valentine's Day so I'll have to do for both classes Kayla has 24 kids in her class and then Violet has 27 in her class so I always get pencils and these are from the Dollar Tree um, if you have a Dollar Tree or a Dollar General um, a 99 cent store. A lot of times you can pick these up. Um, I picked up Valentine's Day pencils and I also picked up some St. Patrick's Day pencils and they're just these different designs. There's purple, red, these are just plain red. And then I also picked up um, some of these erasers and these erasers are for Kayla's class so I just picked up enough to do her class and then I got enough pencils for both girls um, for both of their classes. I really love including a holiday pencil um, in all of their treat bags um, or little treat things that I do. And for this treat bag in particular, I wanted to do something where the pencil and the eraser would just fit into it and I wouldn't have to do anything extra to like attach the pencil to the to the little treat or anything. Um, and so this is what I decided to do. I have this little bag, which if you watched my video on Tuesday, I'll put a card right up here. It's my Create and Share Club. We're actually using these bags and these bags were on the clearance rack back in December. They were like a dollar, I think they were a dollar 98 or maybe even lower than that. But I picked up, I picked up honestly like 50 packages of these because they were so cheap. And then on top of it, I got my demonstrator discount, which is 25%. So I really got like a set of bags of 10 bags for like a dollar 20, a dollar 25. I couldn't pass it up. And these bags are really great. I mean, they're really sturdy. They're a pretty simple design, so you can add a lot of different things to it. So I have that, and then I have some of this designer paper from last year's Occasions catalog. It's the black, um, it's four and a half by six and a half, and then it's black and white on one side, and then it has like red and pink on the other side. And so I grabbed that down because I had a little chunk of that. The Valentine's Day paper that's in the Occasions catalog this year is this like pink and rose red and crumb cake and then there's like all these floral designs. I didn't just, I really don't think it's very little kiddish. You know what I mean? Like I wanted something that was really fun for the kids and I just feel like this is kind of like too grown up. So that's why I got last year's paper down and I want to get rid of it. It's sitting up in my paper stack and I want to get rid of it. So then I went and grabbed all this ribbon. Now all of this ribbon, you guys, this is so embarrassing. This ribbon I've had for six plus years. I picked this ribbon up when I first started scrapbooking and you can tell, first of all, I just opened this package. Um, it was brand new brand new, brand new, brand new. None of this has ever even been used. So I'm trying to clean out old supplies and use stuff up. So I picked out all this Valentine's Day ribbon and I thought I would keep it really simple. So these bags are five inches across. So I'm just going to cut all of these down to five inches. So it's like this with a six and a half by four and a half. I thought about layering it right on the bag, but I didn't think that looked all that great. So I just trimmed it down and I'm gonna stick this right on here like this. And then I'm gonna put a big die cut heart out. So let me show you that. All right, so I just used my heart framelits to cut these hearts out. I used the second largest one. These heart framelits are they're retired. You can't get them anymore, um, but you could use anything. If you still have them, you could use that. If you have a die cutting machine, uh, that would probably be easier. You could just die cut a bunch of them. Um, and then I used the um, other side of that designer paper. And now the problem I'm going to have is I don't have a lot of this red paper left. I'll show you guys. So this is what I have left for the red. And it's not that much, so I'm gonna have to dig through some of my other papers and see if I can dig up some red type paper. So then what I thought I would do is, I think I'll have enough of all these different kinds of ribbons to just wrap the ribbon right around the bag. 
and then just oh, I'm gonna end up wasting a bunch of this ribbon that's okay um just wrap it around the bag and then just tie it I mean I'm not even gonna be all that careful they're really just gonna throw these bags away so I'm gonna try not to be too particular okay so then that will go on here like this and it'll be kind of on the bottom and then I also get the pre-made Valentine's Day cards that you get in the little package and then they're like all like you can get like different Disney characters or whatever um, I get those for the kids and they will do those as well but then they can just drop those right in this bag and then like for Kayla's because she'll have the eraser as well She'll have the eraser in there and then her little Valentine's that she does and signs her name to will go in here and then candy will go in here and it'll look like this. And then I thought the only other thing I thought I would do is take the sweetheart punch and some black glitter paper and some dimensionals and then possibly just put another little heart on here just because... I want it to have something I don't know like maybe like this so it's just a little something so I thought that's what I would do for their Valentine's Day um, treats and then that way I feel like they have several different things I like them to do those little Valentine's that um, all the other kids are passing out I like them to do those as well but we don't assign names we just write I just have the kids write their name and then that way it's easy to pass out and then I'm also taking cookies for um, Valentine's Day I'll take cookies to each of their classes and then to the office so what do you guys think is it too simple I feel like I'm really kind of a big slacker for these Valentine's Day treats because they're not as elaborate as I usually like to do but I'm out of time and kind of out of mojo for the treat bags. So I'd love to know what you guys think and if you guys are doing treat bags for your kids or for school or any of those things. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I wanna mention that if you head over to my website by just clicking right up here, you will see a list of DIY Valentine's Day treats that you could do. Like if you wanted to get started on them right now, there's some really cute DIY, DIY Valentine's Day treats. Um, I just don't have it in me this month to do it so you can check that out just in case you're wanting to do something a little bit more creative so thanks guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow with memory keeping Friday thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to the very end of this video I have two other videos here for you guys I have one I did back in the summer of last year where I um, showed you guys how to color stamped images in four different ways and you can check that out or you can check out my plan for project life for 2016 that's the second video you see right there I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it I'll be back tomorrow with a memory keeping Friday with a very special announcement so I hope that you'll be back tomorrow to join me have a wonderful day you guys